for nearly a year now, the COVID-19 pandemic has created inconveniences for many people. Oh yeah, restrictions have kept families apart from loved ones who are either hospitalized or maybe in a nursing home or a long care long-term care facility. Well, tonight, WATE 6 on your side, consumer reporter Don Dare has the story of a disabled woman who's tried for months to be reunited with her service dog. Don? Well, that's right, Lori. The reunion will take place in Hawaii. The state of Hawaii has some of the toughest COVID-19 restrictions in the country. When Mary Mondello left Crossville, Tennessee five months ago and moved to Hawaii, she never imagined it would take so long to get her dog to her. Yeah, and you're a good Yeah, you're a good girl. Pebbles, a service dog, has a ticket to fly. She's going to take a long trip soon and finally be reunited with her owner. On Thursday, the six-year-old toy poodle will travel more than 4,000 miles from Tennessee to Hawaii. Pebbles and her owner, your sister, have been separated for months now. What's kept them apart? COVID and the airlines. They won't allow dogs. Actually, I was going to keep her for a little while and then give her to my brother who had just lost a dog. But when I realized she was helping me with my hearing, I kept her. Pebble's owner is Mary Mondello. She's the widow of engine designer and drag racing legend Joe Mondello, who moved from California to Crossville to set up a shop a few years before he died in 2011. We talk with Mary at her new home in Hawaii. She's hearing impaired and relies on Pebbles to be her hearing guide. You depend on her. I do depend on her. It's, it's amazing. I didn't think I would. I've missed several people at the door because there's, I just don't hear it. Even with my hearing aids in, I don't hear it. Mary wanted Pebbles to accompany her in August when she moved to Hawaii, but due to the virus, the state would not grant permission. We don't fly any animals at any time. And I said, what about a service animal? And they said, no, we, we are not taking animals at this time to Hawaii. Finally, rules were relaxed in November and animals could fly to Hawaii again. But Pebbles would have to have a person accompany her. She couldn't go alone. When you found out that someone would have to go with Pebbles on the flight, you volunteered. Oh my goodness, yes. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't a person volunteer to go to Hawaii to deliver a dog? We met Mary's longtime friend, Kelly Shepard, at the restaurant he operates in Crossville. The Mondellos have been friends for a long, long time, and it was something that we felt like it was uh, important to do because Pebbles is a, uh, is, a, is a big service to Mary. Come on. Come here. Come on up. There's my girl. Kelly Shepard said he does not fault the state of Hawaii for its COVID-19 precautions for either humans or animals. He and Pebbles will leave Thursday on Alaska Airlines from Nashville and fly to Seattle, where there will be a 12-hour layover. They'll arrive in Maui on Friday. What's it going to be like having Pebbles with you now? Oh, I, I'm going to feel... I'm going to feel like I'm complete, which sounds kind of funny, but she does definitely take away my my anxiety over my, my hearing. And that's exactly why Kelly Shepard wanted to get Pebbles to Mary to help ease her anxiety. Kelly and Pebbles are in the air at this hour. He's been there before and plans on staying in Hawaii for about five days before returning to East Tennessee. He said friends are meant to help one another when needed. Bo. Absolutely. All right, Don, thank you. If you have a consumer question for Don, send him an email at ddaretwat.com. You can also call a six on your side hotline number at 865-633-5974.